everyone, it's Jack from Cutlerholic.com, back again with another big news update. Couldn't really, didn't really have that good a night's sleep last night, but on the plus side, it was a huge night for wrestling news, so I've been able to come straight in, and I can just give the news to you. And I'm probably going to have a nap. I'm really, really struggling today, but there is big news concerning both WrestleMania, a couple of matches have been confirmed for that, and also the mysterious, elusive venue for the all-in show, the self-finance show organized by Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks has been revealed. Let's get straight into it. Let's look at all of the exciting news from the world of wrestling. First, let's start off with that big WrestleMania news. Now, one of the matches that's been confirmed on last night's Raw uh, has been in the works for a few months, a few weeks. It's been doing the rounds on social media. Everyone's been speculating. Dave Meltzer has been speculating. And the, the whole speculation was that Ronda Rousey was going to have a mixed tag match against Stephanie and Triple H. And the whole question was, who's going to be her opponent? Who's going to be a partner? Uh, a lot of people thought maybe The Rock, but then his Hollywood commitments really limited his schedule. A lot of people thought Kurt Angle. And it turns out on Raw, yes, indeed, Kurt Angle is the man for the job. He made the match himself, taking advantage of some kind of loophole in the contract, like, it was one of those weird ones where you don't really know which authority figure has power over the other authority figures, but basically Kurt Angle said, look, Stephanie and Triple H, you've both got talent contracts as well as executive contracts. I'm gonna use that, and I'm gonna book a match between myself and Ronda and a pair of you. Um, now, obviously, it's not the best match in terms of sheer work rate. It's not got an AJ Styles in there, and even though Triple H and Kurt Angle, especially Angle, are some of the best wrestlers that we've ever seen, I reckon, you know, they're getting on quite a bit. They're probably not gonna be quite as good as they were a few years ago. But on the other hand, they know how to tell the story. And Stephanie McMahon as well knows how to tell a story. Her wrestling matches have often exceeded expectations by a long way, just because of, I guess, because she's got sports entertainment in her blood. Ronda Rousey, of course, very, very inexperienced indeed, but she's a natural athlete. And hopefully with the right sort of planning and the right sort of spots, she can be, her weaknesses can be hidden and she can be made to look like a beast. So I'm quite excited for that one. I'm pretty happy. Just a bit dodgy the way it came about in terms of the storytelling, but we'll let that one pass for now. In other WrestleMania 34 news, an Intercontinental Championship match for The Miz has been confirmed. That will feature The Miz versus Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor. Balor and Rollins and Miz, to be honest, have all been working really hard over the past few weeks, especially Seth Rollins. He put in that mammoth performance in that big gauntlet match, the longest match in WWE history, depending on how you look at it, uh, and the longest performance by an individual wrestler in Raw history. Finn Balor had a good showing in the Elimination Chamber match. He's had some good matches against the likes of The Miz over the past few weeks as well. And The Miz remains the most consistently brilliant guy on the microphone for my money in WWE. Him and Alexa Bliss as well. I'm going to say those two are the two most consistent promo people in WWE right now. So. Uh, that's, ob that's obviously a really good match as well. <coughs> Rollins and Balor, two of the best wrestlers in the world. The Miz, not as all out an in-ring worker, but one of the most charismatic and one of the purest heels in the business today. So that's another really good match. It just seems a bit strange to stack the deck against the heel when, you know, it made more sense to have a babyface fighting against a, a triple threat match against two heels. But we'll see how it goes. And I'm sure that match will certainly find a nice little spot on the WrestleMania card where it can impress everyone and maybe give them a tiny breather between some of the bigger marquee matches as well. And now it's time to look at that all in news. Now, this is pretty big. Like last night, as I said, I couldn't really get a lot of sleep. I was about to try and get some shut eye. And then I saw a tweet from Dave Meltzer who got involved in the promotion of this show and said, look, if you're a fan of the Bullet Club, you might want to wait 50 minutes. So I stayed up for 50 minutes. Still, there was nothing. Then Meltzer tweeted again. He said, it might be a little bit longer than 50 minutes. I was like, Dave, you're really, you're really not doing me very well here. I'm having a bad old time. But then it was all worth it because the next episode of Being the Elite was dropped. Uh, obviously, as per usual, it featured Cody and the Young Bucks and various members of the Bullet Club, not including Kenny Omega, of course, because he's been ousted and there's this whole feud, or he's not been ousted, but it's all, there's a battle for leadership. But Cody and the Young Bucks were about to announce the venue for their all-in show on September 1st. The target is 10,000 seats, and now when I'm about to tell you where it's gonna take place, I think you're probably gonna, you're probably gonna agree that it probably will hit the 10,000 mark or about there because towards the end of the video all the members of Bullet Club were arguing saying I want to announce it I want to announce it Skull was there Adam Page was there and eventually Flip Gordon just went look guys I'm going to announce it and they all went no 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 it cut to Stephen Amell who is of course a friend of Cody and a co-star of his on Arrow the series um he announced that it's going to take place in Chicago Illinois and as far as towns go in the United States few are as wrestling if that's a term 
as Chicago. Now, strictly speaking, it's not in Chicago itself. I think it's taking place in a suburb north of the, the city itself, about 25 miles north, but it's in a venue which holds 11,000 seats, which is enough to hit that 10,000 seat target that Cody's kind of given to himself. Um, it's tremendously exciting, and it's only gonna fuel speculation that CM Punk is in that damn bear costume, Barry, the drug-free bear, who's become like Cody's mascot in the Bullet Club. Um, I don't think, you know, they're obviously gonna have a lot of fun with it and tease that it is Punk. I, <sighs> I don't, I don't want to suggest that I think Punk's going to wrestle on the show because it's a massive call. And obviously there's all those rumours that he wants another UFC fight and may well get one. Um, that would obviously take a lot of preparation and he wouldn't really have time to come back to wrestling, surely he wouldn't want to risk it. But maybe he'd appear in some capacity, maybe he would be in the bear costume, maybe he'd just turn up and do a run-in or something. It would be one of the biggest pops and one of the biggest stories of the decade in wrestling. And I really want it to happen. But again, there's no guarantee. But there, anyway, the new the story there is that All In is taking place in Illinois on September the 1st. Not in Chicago itself, but they're gonna bill it as Chicago, but about 25 miles outside of the city. That's all for now, I hope you've enjoyed this news update. It's been a big one, it's been a big night last night for professional wrestling. Lots of big stories going on. Um, I've been Jack from Cultaholic.com. You can follow me on Twitter, I'm Jack the Jobber. You can follow all of us at Cultaholic. And do check out our Patreon as well if you want. Patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic. But the most important thing of all, of course, is to never, ever forget to join us.